So if you want to make money by creating videos, AI videos in particular, maybe TikTok, maybe YouTube, maybe Instagram, there are a few things that you gotta know. First of all, it's not so easy like some of these people will, will like you to believe. And it also might not be so healthy for you, all right? Because just because of this, AI-generated slob is slowly killing the internet. But it is possible to make money with it. It's not gonna be an overnight success, but it is possible to make money with it. It's true. That is exactly why nobody is trying to stop it. All of the platforms, what are you Google for, you know, nowadays VO3 or Pixfield, whatever, you've got plenty of these videos. But some of these are so horrible, right? And on top of that, there's a lot of people doing the exact same thing. Now, Maybe you can just go with Higgsfield, which is, by the way, a little bit expensive. I'll talk about that later on. We'll, we'll unpack all of it. And I'll show you one more tool that maybe you can use. But you got to know that it's going to be a constant grind. Constant grind. Consistency is what wins on all of these platforms, whatever you want to use. And you are going to be exposed to this. All right. There's many studies. There's many analysis. And I don't want to be like, you know, party breaker or whatever. But I do think that you should have this in mind. Now, when we talk about Higgs field, it's a wonderful tool when you look at it from AI perspective. You can draw now into it and you can, you know, you can even skip the prompt part, right? So you can just draw something and it'll just make it into a cinematic videos like these and they're going to be realistic. They're going to be so good. They will, you know, be those scroll stoppers. They will track, you know, they will have good watch time or retention or whatever you need for the algorithm. For example, this is what I've made with Higgsfield's image generator. So first, like this old man, you can see it's a pretty good picture. And then I used AI in order to make the person talk, right? So it's it's okay. And then you've got a lot of these trends. I mean, this trend is already over, but you know, there's a lot of possibilities with it. And there's even like this zoom trend, you know, this makes you think, oh, okay. AI can do that now, right? So that's it in a nutshell. And it's enough for people to stop and like comment, oh, what the hell is going on? And to just send it to their friends and, you know, oh, what the hell is going on? But little by little, well, it's just going to drain you out. There is money into it. For example, if you manage to make like 100 videos and you manage to get like, I don't know, around 10,000 likes and you got 20,000 followers, it is going to be like this per post. But this is something that will take months to make, all right? It's gonna take months. Maybe this with 2,000 is more, you know, better, but you still have to think of competition, right? There's a lot of people doing it. This is a trend, and a lot of people are on the same boat. They wanna make money fast, and they just wanna use shortcut in order to get there. And if a lot of people are doing it, well, there's just too much competition, and essentially, they're just falling for the same type of thing, right? I think that it's far better that you take something which is a monetizable skill. If you have passion for a certain project, if you have passion for a certain skill and you want to make money, it's good to learn that particular skill and, you know, maybe freelance as a start. That's a good option to start. You know, whatever you think you can do or maybe something that's close to you or you have a little bit of knowledge of that particular skill or service or whatever and then use freelancing websites such as fiverr or upwork there's a lot of it and speaking of which i've got a sponsor for today's video which is into lead generation which is a pretty good category on fiverr because there's some people doing it and i think that most of these people are doing it by hand so they're just doing it manually and as you can see, some of these people are charging, I don't know, let's just say this person here. So it is $10 for 50 targeted leads. Now leads are essentially customers, all right? People who might convert into customers. And to get these 50, well, you can just use a tool. And of course you can get $10 for it. First of all, I gotta tell you this, if by any chance you wanna collect leads from Google Maps, I have a perfect tool for you. It's called Lead Sniper. The link for it, you can find down there. A few clicks and you scrape all the leads you need. They have free trial, which you can just use right now to see whether this is for you or not. And from there, it's a one-time payment. It is basically an extension, which works like this on Google Chrome. You find your area and then you just type in the keyword. Let's just go with barber or maybe barbershop. Click on the start button. And then it's just gonna list out all the barbershops 
in your location. You can see the number of leads here, and of course you can export all of it into CSV file. On Lead Sniper, they've got a few other products such as Google Search Scraper and a few other ones, but Google Maps is the one I use the most. There's an installation guide for you as well. And if you ever feel stuck, there's 24 seven live chat support for solving all your problems. And as I've told you, pay once and export leads forever. But then again, that's just one option, you know? In the world of AI content creation and AI tools, you can find something that is useful and will not drain you out. Because once again, consistency is hard, you know, especially with that much competition. Maybe you can expect to, you know, make some bucks in seven to eight months from now. And if you don't have that time or if you don't have the money in order to pay for a subscription on Hexfield, well, I think it's not a smart decision to do so. Because if you head over to Hexfield, well, it's all shiny and that. But if you head over to the pricing section, the monthly version is $29 per month and you get 600 credits per month. All right. So for example, it might not even be enough for you to play with it to get some experience with it if you don't have more money to burn within the same month. All right. And that can just go on and on. So for example, if you plan to be monetized and get your money back within one year, which is probably what's gonna happen. You're looking at a cost of $29 times 12 months. Well, it's gonna be $350 just for that. Now, there's more credits to be used. And of course, they're trying to upsell you always though. So that's like even like $200 more. So that's $550 plus a lot of your time spent into it. And most of the times you're just looking at, you know, these pretty dumb videos, which will not do you any good or anyone else in that case. Now, also there's this tool, which is called revit.ai. You can just Google for it. It's a good one, but I use it to create some cartoons. And I think that's maybe better option. I like cartoons and I like to make them meaningful. And for example, let me just show you some of these videos here. So there's an option to make just AI images with the story. You know, you can generate the script here on your own or just use ChatGPT to help you. It's integrated inside of this, I'll show you later. Or you can just use songs. For this one, for example, I just used the song from Suno and you just paste the link from the song and it'll make the video based on that song. So let me just show you, it's pretty cute. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty cool. And you've got many styles. You have to specify that. Let me just show you create new video. Then you just have to specify, specify which one of these tools you want to use. For example, music to video or script to video or a static background. But down there, you see the script generator is here and then you can choose a style. So whether you want the videos in it or you just want these moving AI images or maybe you just want to use stock videos, you can use whatever you want. And then there's a lot of these styles here. Right. So these presets, there's realism, anime, there's fantasy, movie, cinematic, cartoonish, you know, all of these. It's not a hard tool to use and it does cost money, but not as close as Higgsfield is. Right. So, yeah, those are your options. Think it through. Don't fall for shiny words. And yeah, I wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.